during the quest Dead and Alive, players are required to complete a slider puzzle, which, for those that are not aware of, usually there is a way for NPCs to buy it so that they can do the puzzle for you, mainly Monkey Madness 1, where you pay the Gnome Glider 200k to do the puzzle. So, for this, I'll be showing you a guide on how to make this puzzle as easy as possible. First off, of course, you need to have started and fairly far into Dead and Alive Quest. Once you're at the puzzle, it helps to kill the 10 NPCs at each corner so that you're able to get the 10 maps. After which, you can add it to the table and we'll be speaking to Raptor for players that are un- aware of a setting so just speaking to raptor hit option one for toggle the accessibility mode and make sure you turn it on afterwards right there on my screen this puzzle turned red that means it is in the correct spot so let's start shuffling the puzzles but i'll zoom in a little more because right here you see how there's little a yellow line that means it is a border to the left side of the puzzle this puzzle right here how it's to the right side that means it's automatically to the right side of the puzzle and then right here the one i'm moving you know it's a corner piece because like it has it on both the left side and the bottom side so your goal is to pretty much slide them one at a time and then we'll just move the corner piece to the corner as we know pretty much like 100% that is where it goes now once you move it in place it should turn red that means it is in the correct spot and we did discover that this one right here is also in the correct spot so now we just want to move all the little pieces that do have that left border wing and we'll want to drag it somewhere to the left side we're here since actually a good chunk of the map is turning red now which means it's in the correct spot but just keep turning until you have some pieces and then right here it helps to right there now we have a second red one which means it's in the same spot so now we need to find a corner piece actually i'll try and move here so the puzzle is a little bit bigger to see in a sense so we'll move this corner piece right here it's correct that piece is automatically correct and we need one more piece let me see it should be yep here's a missing corner piece now a little fun fact right here uh, we know it's in the correct spot, but we have this one right here that's open. What you want to do is actually move one of the pieces before it's in the correct spot. And then move the other piece that will be in the correct spot. And then we just shift everything one tile so that when we move this, we'll be moving this one so they're all in a row in the perfect tile, which means you do not have to move them. And now we just make our way on the top border. And the same thing goes. You want to move the pieces pretty much like one tile before it's in the correct spot. That way it's not like this where it has to be connected wrong. And then right here we'll move that and there we go. We now have the top and the left side correct. So for here, now we want to move 
the third, well, the second row. And since there's no borders for this one, except that very last one, which we know where to get it. So just make our way, and there we go. That one's correct. That one's correct. And we'll just move this one right here at this spot, since we know where it is, to make it a little easier to find the tiles. Now, for this part, you want to zoom in pretty close, and you'll notice that this is like a little river and has a little dip. You want to look for another near one that pretty much almost has it or looks like it. And then you'll want to connect that dot. And then right here, as you see, it has a little mountain looking type of thing. You want to look for another piece that pretty much connects that little mountain. So it should be that one right there. And then below it, since it's a bottom piece, we know it has to be one of these two top ones right here. But if we look at this piece right here, you'll see that it's kind of like flattish, which means it will be this piece right here. Now the same thing, we want to connect it by moving a correct piece in that spot and then swapping another piece so they're side by side. Then you're able to drag them so it's connected in a row, just like that. Now we'll work on the second row and it should be this piece right here. So move the pieces and they should connect nicely. And then right here we see a little island piece that should be this one right here. There we go. And then again, make sure to have it almost in the correct spot. And then just shift the whole puzzle one piece at a time. So it'll transfer it just like that, which is pretty awesome. Now we'll go back to it. And here we pretty much know what the puzzle will look like. Because as you see, that's in the right spot. But when I move it, it connects perfectly. So a good way is to then drag it to the correct spot. So it would be like so. However, since we're nearing the end of the puzzle, you want to start dragging it so they're almost interlocked with each other. So we want to work on the top and the bottom piece so that when we do drag it, it will automatically be lined up. And by completing this last one, we slide it, you have completed the puzzle. It's extremely easy to do. Granted, you need to zoom in a good amount to see what the puzzle does look like and if it does have border lines or not. With that, thank you all so much for watching this guide on how to do the slider puzzle within the quest Dead and Alive. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment as it really does help.